If you live in China and you have some problems like you lost your job, or you need more affordable medications, or you feel that a new policy on individual businesses isn't working and you want to talk about it with relevant authorities or even with China's premier, what can you do? Well, I'll just name a few options in this box. There we have 12345 Government Service Helpline and Grassroots Contact Stations and also the petition system, among others. Chinese citizens and foreigners in China can access these services by phone, email, in person, or through various apps. Among those, online platforms have gained increasing popularity. What I'm going to unbox today was one of the most used ways for people to voice themselves, a column called Share Your Thoughts with Premier Li. Welcome to the unboxing channel where we unbox China through its laws and policies. Share your thoughts with Premier Li literally means that Chinese Premier Li Keqiang can hear your voice in this way. Initiated by China State Council, it has been launched on 21 online platforms and on all the provincial government's official websites. But today I'm going to show you two of the most used platforms, the WeChat and Alipay. Most Chinese people use them every day, and it's very easy for them to find a portal within a few clicks in those apps. Here it is. So we have to enter our name and profession and some other information just for verification purposes. And then we can enter our comments in this box. After we finish this, we can click Submit, and that's all done. According to the official website of China State Council, our comments will be sorted out, delivered to, and responded to by different authorities. Some specific suggestions will be delivered to Premier Li Keqiang and possibly be made public. But if we don't want it to be public, we can state it clear in our comments. Premier Li responded to many of the messages in public. For example, at a press conference during the 2022 sessions, he talked about how he noticed that most of the recent messages he received were employment-related issues. And he cited a message by a 15-year-old worker who said he lost his job during the epidemic. Li responded with a series of policies to boost employment, to ease small firms' burden, and provide 35 million unemployed people with vocational training. In 2018, a delivery man was even invited for an in-person meeting with Premier Li after he left his suggestions about the country's delivery system on this platform. These numbers are revealing how many and what kinds of messages the column has been working on. Since its launch in 2014, the government has received over 3 million messages through this column covering issues related to agriculture and the rural areas, education, medication, housing, and social security. From 7-year-old to 105-year-old, people in various age groups all participated in this process. What's noteworthy is that Share Your Thoughts with Premier Li is just one of the effective ways to express your views and get involved in democratic practice. Like I mentioned earlier, China has set up a range of channels where people can exercise their rights, including democratic elections, consultations, uh, decision-making, management, and supervision in accordance with the law. This is a vivid manifestation of what China calls its whole process people's democracy. To put it straight, the country aims to include all the Chinese people into democratic practice, and the practice should include all the different aspects of democracy, but not only restricted to general elections like many Westerners perceive. The country's call is to expand the orderly political participation of people, and that's why it has set up so many ways and channels to hear people's voices. Looking ahead, the whole process people's democracy will only be attached to greater importance in China. And we're expecting more improvements to enrich people's access to democratic practice. What kinds of future can we vision? Let's wait and see. That's all for today's unboxing. Thanks for watching. What do you want to unbox next? Stay tuned to our channel.